What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because episode 7 of Dollar Store Sealed Only is here today, right now, when you're watching this. Yeah. First thing I want to say is if you guys do enjoy this series, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more of the Dollar Store series, but just Yu-Gi-Oh! content in general as well. I will say one thing, this episode was done completely on Twitch live. So if you guys want to check out my Twitch, a link will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's that's really all I got to say about Twitch. But I don't want to make this intro too, too long. So let's end it off there. Uh, let me just say today's episode was definitely an episode, but I guess you guys will see for yourself how it went. That's really all I got to say. So I hope you enjoy. Dollar Store Sealed Only Episode 7 begins now. Hopefully these can make some major changes. These are new packs, by the way. The only reason I know these are new packs is because I'm the only person who still buys Dollar Store Sealed. Okay. If, if anyone's learned anything from my channel, it's to not buy these because it's literally a waste of money, but I'm doing it for the sake of YouTube. Okay, so our first pack. And I do have more, so if I if I don't think these are enough, I'll try to open maybe one more of these packs. Okay, that just flew everywhere. That's kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. Arc Eye Nightmare. Oh, this is from Leov! Oh! Oh, these are kind of new! Okay, 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 I don't want to go through them, so... Dark Eye Nightmare, what does this card do? The Fiend, once per turn. Okay, it's a Fiend, actually. Right away, I like this. So we got a Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx, Amazement Special Show, TG Halibur. This is a rare. Chaos Betrayer. This is from Dane. Oh, some of this is pretty new. If this card is in your graveyard, banish a light and a dark monster from your graveyard, except Chaos Betrayer, special summon this card in defense position. All right, these Fiend cards, I kind of want to see if I can get as much as possible on my hands. Okay, so. Pine Kono, Legendary Ocean. We got Googly. We got a frog. This is also from Leov, actually. There's no way there's Tri Brigade stuff in these packs. Oh, yo, could you imagine we pull, like, even just, like, Nervals or something? This is from R ROTD. Anomaly Jet. Yo, I kind of like that. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, Trump Panda. Premature Burial. If this was GOAT format, this would be lit. Okay, Unwavering Bond is our... Uh, Super rare. What does this card do again? It's a pendulum card, right? When your opponent activates pendulum monster's effect, you can negate it. Okay, that's not gonna do us any good. Army Cold Jade. Book of the Law. Bro, what are we playing? Yo, tell me I can get an Alistar in here. Tell me I can get an Alistar in here. Cannon, Fiend, Mega Cyber, Resonant. Machina. This is from uh, Blazing Vortex. What? Yo, these dolls are packs are stacked. These are stacked. Sun Avalon, that's from Leov. Uh, when this card is equipped to a monster, what is it? Dragoonity? Okay. So sadly, I don't think there's anything we can really use outside of these two fiend monsters. First pack down, first pack down. Yo, I should have got more of these new packs. Does, uh, does Rugal need... No, Rugal just needs Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast. Okay, so he doesn't need Tri Monsters, actually. All right, let's see if we can get more of these. Okay. Uh, yo, these are actually pretty good packs. Ghost Rick Eddie. Desert Protector. Kind of old. Puma Wave. Rendezvous, say word, maybe we will try. I've never seen Tri Brigade shit, like, or relevant stuff in Dollar Store Packs. Metal Foes Vanisher, this is actually pretty cool. I don't think we'll be able to play Metal Foes. Uh, if we could, that would be nice though. This is from Mega Pack 20. Uh, Giga Clops, success probability zero. Dogmatica, it's a, it's a Theo, so it's not like a good Dogmatica card. Destroy one face a monster with, that controls the lowest attack. Yo, for Dollar Store, this might be pretty good, actually. <laughs> no cap, that actually might be pretty good for Dollar Store. Um, Machina. Yo, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way there's Tri Brigade stuff in this. Yo, Dollar Store actually about to change up the game. This is a super rare, but we can't use the Noble Knights card. Okay, so. Uh, Psychic Tuning. Okay, so these are like this way, okay. We got Psychic Tuning. This is from Crimson Crisis First Edition, actually. Maiku, Axie's Block, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Okay. Okay, bro, this is kind of pissing me off now. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we got Cardian, Mara, Lantern Shark. Yo, imagine we could play Sharks. That'd be good. Solid. Oh, uh, there's two cards in here. Goki Guts, no. Super Heavy Rat, Samurai. Buzzsaw Shark, say word. No way we just did that. No way we just opened these two. We can play that combo. I don't think we can play the Code Breaker combo though, sadly. This is from OTS pack. This is from OPO3. 
They where'd they have OTS pack cards in here? Gamma, Rising Fire. Okay, that's it. I gotta get some more of these. They where'd we have Tri Brigade stuff for Dollar Store now? I do already have these. Like I have some Neolisk stuff, and I have some Morg stuff actually. Funny enough, so they're all Wing Beasts. Yo, this is actually playable. Well, this is not really playable. Can I play Revolt though? Special summon any number of beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monsters that are banished on your graveyard. Yeah, so I can summon the Samorg monsters back, technically. And then Link summon a Tri Brigade Link monster. So we do have Rugal. Say word, we have a play. Yo, we have plays. Let me sh let me grab one thing real quick. I can, I can show you guys what we've pulled in the past. See if we can make something work with it. This is like everything we've pulled so far. Let's see if we can make a deck. I can't believe we got a revolt from a dollar store pack. Okay, so this is not really helpful, sadly, but I'm going to put this away now. And now we build. A few moments later. The official deck profile. All right, so we are playing a 42 card main deck. Double Dark Necro Fear. Uh, Sphere Karibo, Karibo, Karibo. If you want me to explain my ratios, it's because they're fiend monsters. They also protect you. The resonators are just your tuners, pretty much. Crimson resonators are free special summons, so that's important. Uh, Infernal Prodigy, another free special summon. Eater of Millions, another special summon. Uh, this is a special summon. This you're just mostly pitching off of other cards, so you can get more fiends in the graveyard. There's no way you summon this, I'll, unless somehow your opponent gets it out of your hand for you. That'd be pretty good. Doesn't really come, like doesn't really happen, but it's pretty good. Uh, and then one Dark Eye Nightmare. This is a new addition. Card's not bad. It gets rid of traps, and then it does affect. It lets you draw cards, so. That's not bad. That's it for the Fiend engine. For our Wing Beast engine, we got triple some more Calamity. Okay, we got uh, one protection and one uh, beginning. And the nice thing about these is that we have Revolt now. So these are live with Revolt. Uh, one Cobalt, double Sapphire, little special summon Wing Beast package. Same with Puma Jong. Uh, just draws cards, pitches cards, gets our Fiends out of our hands that we don't need. One Lantern, one Buzzsaw. This was actually very impressive, to be honest, that I got these. Uh, free rank four engine. Uh, Defrag is a pitch, the special. Tricky is also a pitch, the special summon. Um, you can pitch your Wing Beast now, funny enough, because uh, you have Revolt. So, pitching a Wing Beast is actually not even a bad thing. Uh, Clock Wyvern, uh, Free Link 2, Passing Glider is just a free special summon. And this is just protection, the Bit Bite Turtle, and the Hollow Hollow is just actually another Fiend. It doesn't even really do anything, but it's just, uh, it's just a Fiend. We're playing Double Elbors, just for a Tamori package. Double Chalice, because it's just literally the best card that we have in our deck. It's literally the best card that we have in our deck. And then we have one revolt, which was a really good addition, to be honest. And then a bunch of traps that just special summon themselves as monsters, so we can get more monsters on the field. So it's double space drafter, cliffs, and dragster, I should say. Uh, cliffs and crawler, and uh, machine king 3000. For our extra deck here, I'll do the extra deck and the side together. Side deck is not really important because we're going to play just duels, so we're not going to be playing matches today. So we got uh, double deco talker, double a gave dragon, pretty good. I mean, actually, actually really good now that we have our. Uh, Rugal, because this a Game Dragon just needs two monsters. It's a Link 4, needs two monsters. So if you just make Rugal with Revolt on your turn, special summon something or normal summon something, make a, a Gave or a Game Dragon, that's pretty good. Literally the biggest monster we have in the deck. Uh, Great Fly, Link 2, Barricade, Bark Walker, Link 2. Uh, rank 4 is if we just get the Sharks off. So we got Redoer, we got Maestroke. Maestroke to Book of Moon is not bad. Carnegoron is pretty good. Samurai can help us push for damage. Um, and then we're just playing some Synchros for the resonator tuners so that's it for the extra deck 15 cards so for the side deck we're playing one Scorpio, one octa stretch sea snake repulsion we got pendulum storms we got fissure this is a funny addition but i think it's a pretty good one um just because i mean it's literally dollar store it's a destruction it's not bad and then just a bunch of trap cards we got the bunk a bad aim the gate attack olenoides and triple life force sword i know it's mean but literally what else can we do so that's pretty good that's it for our side deck all right, Nash, I hope you're ready for this. <gasps> nice, we lose. Oh yeah, we hard lose. <laughs> oh, we well, first at least. Um, That's the play. He's gonna think we're playing Guru. He's actually gonna think we're playing Guru, but we're actually outsmarting him. Oh, nice, this was actually what we were playing. Weird that he was playing Buzzsaw Shark, or he's playing Sharks and he wants to go second though. End phase, okay, we're gonna summon Klee's end. We're also gonna summon Space Strikester. 2700 booty, bro. Or we play it slow. I feel like if I go into a Gob Dragon or a Game Dragon, I, we're just gonna lose to something stupid. So I feel like I shouldn't go into this. Maybe there's a way we can get Dark Necrofear on the board. Oh! 
He stacked this, right? Oh shit. I guess that's I guess that's a play. Yo, at least we haven't gotten OTK yet. Battle phase is fine. Yes. Yes, you fell for my trap. There's no way he has a negate. Yeah, he, he can't negate. This guy really had strike for my bit by turtle. Oh my god. That was actually my only O. We can't do anything. We're gonna, we can special summon this by pitching that. Just so we get a fiend in the graveyard. Um, and then... And then we're gonna pass. We have Karibo, so we can go, we won't get OTK no matter what. Yo, but it actually, considering that we're holding up, I'd say Dollar Store Sealed only is doing a thing. It's doing a thing. Yeah, 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 eh? You think you're gonna do damage to me? I have a Karibo. They call it, they actually call me Yugi. Okay. We got, what, two fiends in the graveyard? I can't get this off the field, though. I mean, unless I crash. And then summon Necro here. Okay, yeah, so the play is... To just special summon this and crash. He definitely thinks I'm beaming. Main phase two. We're gonna special summon. And this is really our win con now. We actually got this card off. This is our win con now. Because he can only out it with this guy, at least at the moment. And we take control of him later. So at the moment, we don't lose. 1724. We won't die. Because he has to attack over this. Good, 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 good. It's all working as we planned. Okay, so you see what's funny is I actually think I can win this. And if we do win this, let me just say this. If we do win this, this is going to be our very first win with Dollar Source Sealed only. I don't want to get too ahead of myself though. Okay, this is the th this is it. This is our first time getting Dark Necrofear off, by the way. He has no way to stop this, right? Unless he has another strike. If he has another strike, he has it. What does this do? He can't negate, so he's just detaching. Oh! Wait, no, chat, we spoke too soon. Yo, no, we spoke too soon. All right, we're scooping this one up. <laughs> Let's see if we can make something happen. Bro, I can't believe we got our win con last game and we couldn't we couldn't get it to go off. Oh my god, can we just please draw this stuff? I think bit by turtle is a play. Oh no. Okay, but I, I promise Dollar Store is going to get better from here on out. Yeah, this is Despia. Okay, I've never actually played against it, so I actually have no idea what they do. But it's not like I have interactions anyway, so... Yeah, are we going to get, um... OTK'd? Game 3 is going to be better. Alright, we're winning this. Right here, right now. Nice. We did not draw a comp. Actually, we drew playable, though. I think we drew playable. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I got to do first is a special summon this yo we're comboing right now by the way Lamy's gonna send probably protection activate the protection okay okay that's really it though <laughs> that's really it we just passed with the chalice we gotta hope chalice is enough yo listen this is kind of still technically combo if you think about it you guys look back at episode one the most i could do was normal summon a monster and pass um you know what i'm gonna do i feel like if i just chalice the blue tang they're gonna have a problem and let me see if i was right I was not right. Listen, I'm editing this right now, and I'm just going to save you guys. By the way, my computer's dirty. Just leave that alone. But I'm going to save you guys the thing. But look, he literally comboed for five, wait, wait, right there, five minutes, 4.8 minutes, five minutes of just Marine says combo. This is stupid. Okay, so he's just going to go in for a game with battle. Okay, I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys here. We're going to lose just because he has a bunch of damage on board. Okay, yeah, so we don't even die here. Okay, the first thing I want to say is all of that, to not even be able to OTK. I am very, like, unimpressed with this deck. I thought they were going to U-Link. I was like, yo, if they U-Link, that'd be kind of cool. But it didn't even U-Link. And all these effects are going off that I don't really know what's going on, but nothing's happening. So I'm just going to, like, we literally sat here for, like, five minutes to just not have anything happen. <laughs> so we're going to game four. No, we saw the wrong fish. We saw the wrong fish. Oh, we saw the wrong fish. All right, special summon. All right, special summon. Mama mentality got to keep trying. I know, bro. Like I do, I'm I'm trying, but it's like this deck is so freaking difficult. I'm gonna win. I promise you. If it's not this episode, probably not gonna be this episode. If it's not this episode, it'll be next episode. I think we just pitch the sapphire here. Um, and then we normal summon him. We can make riser. Special summon this back. 
These are kind of plays, if you think about it. And then technically... Oh no, Black Rose is fire, so we can't do that. Yeah, that's our combo. Yeah, he got it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, and four. Wait, Yara, you want to play? If you want to play, come through. I won't even end the episode. Let's go, game five. I'll do game five. I realized I didn't even have a chat box going on on the freaking thingy. That's why I was like so confused. I'm def checking out on YouTube. Yeah, thanks, bro. Yo, Yara, no stream sniping. Ooh, and we won the, hand, the, the rock, paper, scissors. Okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh, GG, I'm too good. All right, all right, all right. Y'all are about to catch these hands. You're gonna hate me. Uh, I can't hate you. It's not possible. I thought I was on appliances. Yara. Yara. Never mind. I take that back. What? This guy said he thought he was on appliances, and then he goes Mystic Mind. Yara, what are you playing that plays? Mystic Mind, you want a rematch? It's Crooked Cook? I have no outs. I have no outs. I'll let Yara know from now. I have literally zero outs. Okay, 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 okay. We go next, we go next, we go next. I didn't even open the Revolt though like we did last time, rip. Okay, so, do we gotta play? Okay, so Special Summon. We have Karibo, so we're kind of safe. Normal Summon Calamity. No, Dollar Store comboing right now, by the way. Uh, We will send the protection. Make Verte. If... Dollar store packs gave me Verte, I'd be too strong. But this world wants me to suffer. I'm just gonna, gonna pass, because I don't think there's anything else I can do. Let's see what Yada has. Let's see what Yada has. Mr. Appliancer. Yada, what am I looking at right now? Alright, so I special summon the tricky here. And then I'm, I'm just gonna battle. You're playing, is he playing, are you playing Storming? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Better than Storming, better than Storming. Better than, what? <laughs> what? I was, I was just about to say I was better than Storming, I'm good, but uh, apparently not. Um, maybe we go link to. No, we don't go link to. We just passed. I can't believe I just got magic cylinder in 2021. Oh, special summon an appliance here. Not bad. Not bad. He's gonna pop both to 15. Oh, just yeah, possible. Well, I guess he's gonna die anyways because 15. But yeah. Okay, Yara. Another one. Oh my god. Oh my god. We do not have a play here. At all. We do have Karibo though. Chat, I'm still going to be 0 and 5 after this. <gasps> Wait a second. Wait a second. Win a bull. Win a bull. Battle phase. No. Baby Sue. I don't know why I went to the battle phase there. Win a bull. Win a bull. Win a bull. But he's going to have a storming. Or uh, he's going to have a storming or he's going to have magic cylinder on me. This is it. Yo, Revolt actually, funny enough, works pretty well with the Submorg stuff, because they all get banished later. His set cards are killing me, though. Hey, what is this? No! No! So that is it for today's episode. Um, yeah, we went 0-5, which kind of sucked, but we got a Revolt. And that means there's hope for next time. I got more of those new packs. This is going to be fun. Episode 8 is going to be really good. I'm telling you, I have a good feeling about getting our first win in Episode 8. But I do say that every episode, so I'm not sure how good that feeling really is. But I feel pretty good about it, so let's hope for the best. But again, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And with that, it's Benko. I can give you a card pull from like whatever cards I pull from the dollar store packs. And then you can make any deck you want. And then we go 1v1 dollar store versus dollar store.
Get up, get up. We want you to get on your feet.